Steve Hawley finally got what he wanted. He said he wanted to give women 85% of his bread. He said men supposed to give women 85% of their bread. Well, he definitely will be giving his woman 85% of his bread. We gotta be careful what we say. Now, none of us are perfect and we gonna we all make mistakes. You know, you know, sometimes we learn more and we realize that we didn't know some things or we was in denial of some things. Some some stuff we just in denial of. You know what I'm saying? Some sometimes we try to justify stuff that that's we know that's wrong. We know that don't make sense, but we still try to justify it. You know what I'm saying? We still try to justify something. He got to know that that don't make sense to give a woman 85% of your money. And in this day and age where women leaving guys and taking half of your money and, you know, he's showed up. He showed up we'll be giving her 85% of his money. He definitely will be giving her that. For sure. Um, I feel for him, you know. I feel for the dude. He been through a lot just to see. You know, I don't know why he got married twice, though, to the same woman that didn't that didn't hang around him when he didn't have nothing. He's saying, you know, he's saying women supposed to, men supposed to provide. Yeah, we supposed to provide for a virtuous woman. You know, we supposed to provide for a virtuous woman. A virtuous woman is different from any any woman that just because she look good. We supposed to provide for a woman that love us for better and for worse, not for better and for better, you know? So, you know, I don't know if he was in denial or what. I ain't got nothing against Steve Harvey, man. I wish the best for him. I like him, but that wasn't no good information. He was giving guys in the world. I don't think that was the best information he was giving. Um, talk about give guys, give give women women eighty five percent of your money. That's a lot of money, man. That's extremely a lot of money. Um, I feel for him now, you know. You know, you just can look at certain women. You can look at certain women and see that that they got something, you know, up their sleeve. You know, you know, you just can look at them and be like, uh, I don't think she's a down woman. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she's a down woman. And a down woman. You just know, you can just look at her and feel that, uh, you can just look at her and feel that, uh, you know, that she got your back. She genuine, she wholesome, she gonna be loyal. Because they jokes are different. You know, I remember she joked and said she got a pool boy. You know what I'm saying? A pool boy. You know, dang, it was for the money, man. That money, that money, something else. Y'all guys gotta be careful um, when you get some bread. Be careful who you link up with, man. Who you marry and who you have babies, who you lay up with. Be careful who you lay up with, man. Because everybody don't have you in their best interest. You could be laying up with a witch. Many of us laid, laid up with witches, but we slid through the cracks. But everybody, every man don't slide through the cracks. You may not be that guy that slide through the cracks. Where you don't get her pregnant or you don't get food and think she's more than for the streets. Some women not even worth one night. And guys giving them a lifetime. And guys trying to make a lifetime out of a woman that's not even worth one night. You're giving a lifetime. You know, you gotta be careful. 
Anyway, I'm out of Reagan there. Be safe out there, man. Because uh, at the end of the day, all you got is Jesus Christ. Ain't nothing guaranteed. Ain't no love in this world guaranteed but Jesus, man. You ever just relax? You relax your mind so much where you can feel the presence of God? Just relax your mind. I'm sounding like one of those tapes, but it's real. Relax your mind. Take a deep breath. And just start being... Start naming all the stuff. Start naming all the stuff that you're thankful for. Just start naming it. All the stuff that you're thankful for. You know? And, uh... And just relax. Take a deep breath. Man, you'll start feeling the presence of God, man. Especially when you say, Jesus, into my life. Take over my life, Lord. Guide me and use me. Because that's what it's all about, man. People are going to turn it back on you. I ain't telling you to be mad at people and stuff, man. But people just, they human. Remember God said, Jesus say. They know if not what they do. These people lost, man. They more than in the matrix, man. They in the devil's matrix and beyond. It's it's serious out here, bro. I'm talking about family members, parents. The whole nine yards, man. You just gotta pray for people and stay prayed up, cause people lost. You putting too much you putting too much trust in people. They not, they not worthy to be trusted and worthy to be praised, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm Alan Ray in there. Press like, subscribe. Make sure all y'all hit the notification bell, man. A lot, of, a lot of y'all haven't been hitting the notification bell. Hit that notification bell so you can be uh, notified when these videos come out, man. All right. Hit these notification bells. Um. And check out all my, my shorts and my videos and all that good stuff. I drop videos like every day. If there's any videos you want me to make, just put it in the comment section. Uh, you know, if you, any videos you want me to make. Um, it's just about it. I'll holler at y'all later, man. I'm out. I never knew it was something really out here that can actually make your dick a little bigger. And your your dick thicker. I mean, I never, I just never could understand. I never could fathom something that really can do that. I've been eating this shit, man, from the store every day, and I just happen to like it. But I didn't realize that. I said, man, why the fuck is all it? My stomach getting flatter, and unnecessary fat that I had on my body is disappearing, and. I noticed that my dick got longer and my dick got thicker. What the fuck going on here? I started thinking, what have I been doing different? Come to find out, it's that shit I've been eating. If you want to know what I've been eating, message me, it's $20. Message me on Instagram at Allery in that show, all right? And I tell you, this shit is wild, man. Allery Brilliant there, that's my guy, man. He's the truth, he wasn't lying, man. Like really works i ain't gonna put you on you gotta do what i did to get on but definitely gonna get them games you might have to tuck your jump off under your belt by your belly button because you're gonna be walking around with a heart on <sighs> you wasn't lying bro definitely works go check my man out alan you're really in there one hey guys i've been getting emails about uh guys that took my hand bone remedy uh, that is working for them as well you know I originally told you guys it was working for me but it's working for guys from all over the world so hurry up and message me on Instagram at Allery in this show if you want that remedy it's good for your overall health as well as well as your hand bone your dick so you can dick and grow and be strong and healthy and you can please the woman you love Allery in this show on Instagram what's up this your boy Soldier boy 
Make sure y'all check out my boy Pookie, man. And Ray Ray really in that dance challenge videos on TikTok, man. Song five, man. Check him out ASAP, man. Check out my main man, Alan Ray in that YouTube channel. Let's get it. Time to 